morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nabil, and today we are going to take another stab at Aerofly FS2. Previously, I spent a bunch of time with music that was too loud, and then I failed to land some heavy metal, which is kind of embarrassing because I I know how to fly. But moving beyond that, we are going to test out something today. What do we want to do? I'm not a big fan of twins. Um, it's well, maybe we'll use Learjet. We'll use the Learjet today. And I've been asked to take a look at uh, Flagstaff, which let's see, can I find oh, Baghdad? Very nice. Um, where is Flagstaff? Flagstaff. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start us. Uh, we'll start off on the runway. That should be fine. And for navigation, what's around here? We'll go to. Uh, how do I delete these? Let's see, select this. No, that's not what I want to do. Yuma. No. Was that clear? Yes. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna start off at Flagstaff. Uh, and no, I don't actually want to do that. No. Oh. If you select it, it will automatically huh. click below to select my departure. Flagstaff. We're going to take off on runway 03. And then we're going to fly to Winslow. Get to the route. And we'll fly over to Sedona. <clears throat> I just want to overfly the, the runway. Okay, I guess we'll go to Dirk. And then maybe we'll head up to the Grand Canyon. EGS. And, uh, you know what, then we'll fly over to McCarran. I have no idea how long this flight's going to be. Oh, 274 nautical miles. Okay. And then we'll land on uh, runway 19. Oh, that doesn't have an ILS. Uh, maybe we'll do it anyway. Okay. So this is a pretty long flight. That's 300 nautical miles. Um... Nope, I'm okay with my navigation plan. But I want to take a look at the conditions. Time, uh, 4 p.m. Go. Let's do 7 7:30ish p.m. Oh, wait, no, this is UTC. Yeah, negative eight. Wind is probably okay, although I'll make it calm. We'll have it coming from the north. And clouds, visibility, we'll add some cumulative clouds, and I'll put them right about there. Cirrus, there we go. It's a nice, it's a different mix than what we had before. And let's, let's take a look at this. Okay. See what Flagstaff looks like. I've driven through Flagstaff uh, once or twice, but I don't really recall it much. Oh, it's dark. It's quite dark. Um, that's probably a little too dark. Oh, conditions. I'm. There we go. I'll knock an hour and a half off of that. Start. I do like that the, uh, they give you the time in UTC, because while this isn't the world's most incredibly deep simulator, um, aviation is done UTC. That is, that is the way it's done. I'll go ahead and drop my flaps one notch. That is damn pretty. Alright. Let... Um, zoom. Z. 
Z for zoom. Take a look through this cockpit here. <coughs> oh, okay, you can actually arm these, that's good. The yaw damper is... okay, the yaw damper is on. FMS for a source. Will it let me choose FMS? Okay, that works now. Okay, my flight plan is right there. Very, uh, very pretty model. Flight director is on. And let's see, where do I set my altitude? Heading to runway heading. Okay, that is my altitude. All right, well, that's probably enough to get us, you know, started. Oh, and I just knocked down a coffee cup. Lucky for me, there was no coffee in it. Actually, that's unlucky for me. All right, let's do this thing. Throttle up to 50%. Very pretty. All right, feed off the brakes. I have no idea what the V speeds are supposed to be in this. Full. Come on, back on the center line. Okay. Oh yeah, the uh, the trim. Nav autopilot. Well, that works. I'm at 199 knots, and I am still at full, full thrust. All right, gear up, flaps up. Yeah, that is fantastic looking. Screenshot. 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 Now, theoretically, we should be... Yeah, we should be climbing. Oh, no. We should not. Flight change. There we go. Uh, nav... Okay, well... I'll go to heading mode. How's the rest of the modeling on this? Mm, how do I move? Is it shift? No. Oh, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and change our altitude to 20,000 feet. And we'll flight change that again. Boop. I want to throttle back just a little bit. There we go. Uh, where is my range? Here, range, 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 range. There we 
we go. The, uh, the textures here are just a little bit low resolution. <coughs> Excuse me. It's uh, it's really, really early in the morning. So you'll have to excuse how froggy my voice is. I suppose you don't have to, but you should. Oh, we have a little bit of turbulence. Strangely dark. Okay. Bank doesn't appear to do anything. I don't see it indicating that my bank angle is reduced, but that's okay. on that turn seemed a little bit enthusiastic now we're flying over Flagstaff and this is at the request of someone I don't remember who sorry it's again really early in the morning That is pretty. Oh, my landing lights are on. Alright, now actually, the next thing I want to do is descend a bunch because, because someone wanted to see Flagstaff. So I'm going to do a flight change again at 200 knots, so I'll bring it back to idle. There's flight change. That is relatively realistic behavior, so I like that. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the volume, probably. Well, it's been relatively quiet. It's like an interesting, you know, transparency issue. Or maybe it isn't a transparency issue. <coughs> oh goodness, excuse me. Boy, I sure am glad that I got that in the recording, huh? Now, I have, I have slats. Can I actually activate them while I'm in the air? Go ahead back inside. And I don't think we're going to get down before we get to Flagstaff. Eh, 3,000 feet a minute. We're 25-ish miles away. Yeah, we aren't going to make it. Unless... Nope, oh, that's okay. Now, I could theoretically drop my flaps, but that would be... Uh, unrealistic. As we go through this quick descent, I'm going to step away and I'll be right back.
Well, that's unexpected. It automatically pauses when you step away. I actually don't know how I feel about that. I, uh, I clicked that side of the window and, oh, that is cool. That is a crater. Anyway, I stepped away to, you know, because, and it paused the game, and that's... I don't know, I honestly don't think I like that behavior. I wonder if I can turn it off somewhere. Alright, anti-ice doesn't appear to be modeled. And all of the lights are on. There doesn't appear to be a damn thing I can do about it, actually. You will have lights, and they will be on. Damn it. And what have I got over here? Oh, maybe they're... Okay. They're mapped to the mouse wheel. We're going to go ahead and bring our heading over so that we can overfly whatever that is. There's one over here. It might be behind the clouds now. I would not, I would not have mapped uh, lights to the wheel. But now, yep, there we go. There are my landing lights. Seems like a weird design decision. Although I guess now there are three position switches, aren't they? So maybe, maybe that makes sense. Winslow. And I guess we'll cruise at 10,000 feet. That should put us... Nah, we'll cruise at 7,000 feet. And the reason that we are cruising so low is because a big part of this is that we want to see the scenery. Fly over Winslow and then bring it back around. Break up the speed to increase our descent as we plummet to the ground. <laughs> kind of makes me sad that that nav mode doesn't appear to do a damn thing. I've got it set to FMS. I'm going to go ahead and disable the autopilot. Whoa, that's interesting. Set the heading two thousand five hundred. I like the enunciator voice. Okay. So I've got this there we go. Now it's trimmed for nose down. <coughs> and it wants me to begin turning, which is a reasonable request. But I'm not going to do it. I want to take a look at Winslow. One thousand. I don't know why I want to look at Winslow. I've never heard of it before, but... We have static aircraft. What kind of static aircraft are you? Like a ATR? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if they added an ATR in game. Alright, and we'll trim it just a little bit over the top of these. And... 
Flight change. Bring the speed down to 200 knots. Altitude is still set to 7,000. And autopilot on. Climbing like a bat out of hell. Actually, you know, I think I'm doing this wrong. I bet this probably climbs at about 175. That's not the behavior I was expecting. Come on, flight level change. Fine. Vertical speed? Maybe I need to switch the mode? Alright, vertical speed it is. <coughs> or, none of the above. It's not doing anything because it thinks we're already at the altitude, and I've spent far, far too long staring at it, not understanding why. So, flight level change. Again, it's like 4 a.m. I don't feel bad. There must be some way to turn off the callouts in Steam. Callouts. <laughs> Alright, now what have we got over here? I don't want to do this whole thing in one plane. I want to give you guys a little bit more than that. Let's see, we just finished one leg. But now let's do the next leg in... I guess we'll do the next leg in the King Air. So location, we are going to start at Winslow on 2-2. Start, pull the throttle back. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to try to make a point to set the trim down just a little bit. Because um, I don't remember where it was, but I saw someone complaining that the, the biggest issue they thought was probably that it was trimmed. Uh, everything was trimmed so heavily up, and that's a good point. The trim here is, is very heavily up. All right, flight director. Flight director is on. Due to set to 10,000. Speed for the climb is set to... We'll set it to 170. And then... I've got flaps set to one. I should probably be okay. 
throttle to 50. Throttle to full. Come on. trim a little bit, flaps up, and oh, can I put you in nav mode? No, I cannot, but I can put you in heading mode. And there we go. Heading mode it is. And we are using flight level change to GTFO. Engaged. God damn fur. Autopilot, there we go. It's interesting that it was climbing at the right speed without the autopilot. Light level change. pretty. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I'm only going to fly for another half hour or so. Let's, let's take a look here. Approach appears to do something, I just have no idea what. But uh, we are also descending at a thousand feet a minute. Okay. Clouds. Let's find a place. Let's see, what's nearby? Uh, Sedona. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want. We'll fly it heading maybe two, two, four, two, two, four, five. Nothing I think should have changed. I don't think that I've put myself anywhere. Good. Two. Four or five, okay. I'm going to bring us down to 6,500 feet with flight level change and then pull back on the throttles and feather my props.
None of these appear to do anything. That is good looking. Okay, that's that's concerning since I'm at a cloud bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and. My altitude to seven five. There we go. <coughs> Something written on that plate. Two sets of numbers. Okay. Comfort Peak again. I do. I like those. I like those. I like that. I didn't think I would. I do. Can't bring it all the way back in the feather, okay. A little bit more throttle. See that we're low. There we go, 1,000. We're going to go ahead and bump our altitude up using light change. I love the sky colors. They did a fantastic job with those.
here. The lights are just regular click switches. quite the boost to my frame rate. Buttons have different uh, things mapped to them. Locations. Nice cabin. Air stairs. Plane is not very fast. I mean, I guess it is. We're going 257 knots, so I suppose I can't bitch too much. That doesn't suck at all. So, what I'd like to see. Um, at least in the, the cameras, is right now I have this good, you know, uh, camera that I can, I can circle around the plane and look directly at it. Give me the ability to put it here and then turn the view off a little bit so that the plane isn't centered. Let me, let me put it over on the side. Um, because I can make some incredibly cinematic shots that way. I think this will be my our flight sim uh, entry for this month for the screenshot contest. And Sedona is obscured in clouds. Oh, oh, there's a little runway there. Well, I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. Autopilot is gonna be a button here somewhere. Flight director's off. Autopilot. Whoa. I, I don't want you to descend quite that much. Thank you very much, airplane. And I guess I should switch my... There we go. Another runway over there, I think. Give it a little bit of left rudder. Sedona is very well done. Kind of makes me wonder if I should grab the approach chart or just uh, fly this VFR. I have no idea what the flaps arc is in this this plane. Or my gear arc for that matter. Or my uh when can I drop the landing gear without them tearing off? 
I'm flying at 217, so... 2,500, all right, we can level off and slow down a little bit. All right, we'll bring it around from 217. Do whatever 217 minus 80 is, or 180. Sedona has an ILS. Location. Nope. Navigation. Sedona. Nope. Okay. I had to check. Let's be honest. In real life, I would just punch down the ILS and follow that glide slope. hundred feet. That's a hill. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of throttle so we can climb over it if we have to. Oak Creek. Something Coke Creek. I have no idea what that is. Pretty low. And there's the airport all the way over there. I'm going to go ahead and throttle back. Gear down. Flaps one. And I have no idea what my approach here should look like. The clouds are sort of falling down the, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They're moving and it's pretty. They're moving into the spaces between the hills. Really eloquent today, Nabil. Really eloquent. Alright, I found a flaps too. Uh, what do they call it in a beach? I have no idea. Probably some number of degrees. Really, geared down is 150 knots? That's... Right, I'm a bit low. Oh, there we go. The Vasi is starting to, uh, starting to agree that I should be allowed to land. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my flaps down a bit further. A little bit more power. Oh, and now I'm high. Still quite high. There we go. Flaps full, I think. One thousand. Alright, I think this is Sedona Airport. 500. 400. Come on. It does feel low, doesn't it, Vassy? 300. 200. Come on. 150. 40. Alright, throttle back. 30, trim it 10, up. And. 10. There we go, we're down. Stand on the brakes.
Still standing on the brakes. Oh, apparently I'm not the only big twin here, so... Now this runway is quite... quite slanted. Not actually that bad, it's three degrees. Can I roll backwards? Nope. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I don't remember who it was. Someone said that differential braking didn't appear to be working. Well, it definitely works for me. I, uh, I'm not going to use the rudder for this turn. I, I won't say it's easy to use, but it works. Alright, I am going to use the rudder for this one. <coughs> Alright, what time is it? Fortunately, I have, you know, a real life that I have to worry about, and it's about time, so... There we go, we have landed in Sedona. Well, I should probably clean up my config. Normally I would have a checklist, and this time I don't. So. All right, I think that's probably going to do it for me. Uh, can I... I don't have... I don't have prop condition, do I? That would... That would make me happy. I just... Alright, here's the deal. I don't want to be critical of this game, but please let me turn the engines off. Let me turn the engines off. Let me... You know... Let me do things. It's beautiful, and the, the flight model is is not terrible, right? It needs a little work, but I think that can be said of most most flight simulators. And the honest truth is that uh, I can't think of any flight simulator with default airplanes that are good. And so this might be better than most as far as default planes go. They've already said they're going to open it up to third-party developers, excuse me. Um, and I'm sure that they're going to be uh, making all kinds of changes, but please, just make one of those changes a default airplane with some teeth. Give me something... Give me something with teeth. Because, I mean, look how beautiful this is, right? And I get inside of it, I'm like, ah, everything, you know, so many things work. It's so close to, you know, fantastic. And then I go to turn off the engine, and I don't have control of the condition. Let me do that. You know, my beacon, I can turn that off and on. That's good, right? But why can't I turn on the anti-ice? Oh, where is it in this one? Yeah, ignition doesn't work. Avionics power doesn't work. Boost pump. Oh, jeez. Right? Let me decide to fuck this plane up. Let me say, you know what, it's, it's... It's time for me to induce a failure. Anyway, I, uh, I guess my rant is done. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh... This video, this is I think my third Aerofly video, and I'm probably gonna try to do, I think, one a week. Um, I don't know how fast the the development process is going to be for this this game. Um, I don't think there have been any updates released yet. Um, it's only been whatever five days, but you never know. I, some some developers like fast small updates. Some developers don't. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna try to do probably I'm gonna try to do one video 
uh, a week at least of Aerofly uh, to sort of track the progress of, of how it's shaping up to be. Um, I'm really hoping that the next update includes some fixes for the A320. Just throwing it out there. Anyway, um, it's still less than a week old. And I'm rambling because I'm tired and I've been awake for too long. So I will catch you guys next time.